Welcome back to Pink Oratera. My name is Z, and this is a general love reading for all Pisces. Um, whenever you're guided to watch this video, hopefully these messages are for you. <clears throat> also keep in mind these messages are very, very general. They may or may not resonate with everyone. So let's see what we have. I'm going to pull Romance Angel cards for you guys and then do a tarot spread. And then I'll pull an Oracle card at the end. So what messages do we have for Pisces? So we have to express your love. So it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So let's see what else we get. Okay, so we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Um, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Hmm. Give me one more for Pisces. So it says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So with this. Okay, so right off. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have unrequited love. So I feel like this is about to go with what I'm, I'm getting ready to say. Good thing I looked at the bottom of the deck. So it says unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So with this um, express your love, I feel like somebody, I feel like this is the other person, um, maybe some, someone that you guys are dealing with, or it's like someone that's interested in you, Pisces, or um, the roles could be switched. So just um, take it how it resonates. Don't try to make it apply to your life. But with this express your love, I feel like this is the other person. This is someone wanting to come in to express your love, but someone's still holding on to their ex. So that's why it says release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Because whoever this is that's coming in to express their love, this could be the one. So it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this could have been this could be someone that you guys already knew, like while you were with your ex. So it says, um, after this could be the one, it says it is safe for you to love. So it's like someone needs to release their ex, um, clear their, their ex's energy from them. Um, so it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Because someone is like still holding on to their ex or you still could be like communicating with your ex. But it's like this new person, whoever this is, that's coming in to express their love. So it's like this could be an unrequited love. Um, so some of you guys, like, uh, if you're still holding on to your ex, it's like there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. So that's why you need to release your ex. So let's pull tarot cards to get more insight on this. But that's just what I feel like it's saying. Um, let's see what else we get. What's... Give me one for express your love. I didn't even ask. Hold on for one second. Give me one for express your love for Pisces. Yeah, so we have the Knight of Pentacles that came out for express your love. So I feel like this is someone that may have been... This could be a friend also, too, because it's almost like with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like this person was like, this person couldn't really make a move because you probably were still with your ex or they were just like kind of slowly approaching with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like the Knight of Pentacles is slow. 
but I do feel like this is like the new person. It could be an earth sign, but it's Knight of Pentacles is coming in to express their love. Or it could be the other way around, Pisces. This could be you as the Knight of Pentacles wanting to express your love to someone, but someone needs to release their ex. But I feel like this may have been someone that you guys were still, it's like someone that, somebody that's around you, like while you were still with your ex. So they probably was like waiting for y'all to break up. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what it seemed like. It's like they probably couldn't even make a move or like express how they felt about you because you were still holding on to your ex. You probably was still going back to your ex. So let's see what we get for release your ex. Give me one for release your ex for Pisces. That was too many cards. Hold on, y'all. That was too many. Okay, um, give me one for release your ex for Pisces. So, we have the four stores with release your ex. So, either some of you guys took a break from your ex... But also, too, I'm looking at this as, like, someone really needed to find a peace of mind also, too. With this release your ex in the four of swords. It's like someone needs to really clear their mind and stop thinking about their ex. Or some of you guys have already released your ex. And so now you have a peace of mind. What's, um, this could be the one for Pisces. So we have the three of wands. What this could be the one. So like I said, this person, because this is, um, right underneath the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like maybe this person was waiting. This person has been probably waiting and watching for you to release your ex. So it says this could be the one because it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So that's why I said this Knight of Pentacles could be someone that you guys were already dealing with. But you probably didn't even know... It's like somebody didn't know they had um, feelings for this person. So it's like once this person comes in to express their love, um, they're saying that it's this could be the one. So I feel like this person has been waiting, probably watching. So um, give me one for it. It's safe for you to love. So we have the two of wands. So this could be. We have the two of wands and the three of wands. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give. This. So I feel like this is like someone. I feel like when, whenever it is Knight of Pentacles. Um, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Cups. So this could be someone's Ten of Cups. Whoever this is coming in says this could be the one. Like. After you release your ex and find a peace of mind. So we have the tool, tool of rods. So this is basically, I feel like this is someone, this could be you Pisces or the, um, the other person. This is like someone trying to make a decision about whether or not they want to maybe get into a partnership. Hold on for one second. So we have the five of rods. So this could be someone just um, having some sort of conflict about maybe even, it's almost like someone's conflicted about falling in love or uh, finding new love also too.
And this could be for the person who needs to release their ex also too. So let's see what else we get. Already 10 minutes in. That was a pretty good spread. Like, I do feel like it's like someone watching or waiting. So it could be an earth sign. But it's like someone that you guys know. What other messages do you have for Pisces and regards to love? What other messages do you have for Pisces and regards to love? So we have the Page of Pentacles. So this could be some sort of apology. What other messages do you have for Pisces in regards to love? So we have the Queen of Rods. Some of you guys could be done with the fire sign. I feel like this is like you Pisces also too. What other messages do you have for Pisces? So we have the Four of Cups. So this could be someone, this could be a fire sign that's coming towards you guys. Are you you going towards a fire? I mean, yeah, fire sign. But I feel like this may be someone coming back for an apology. And also, too, this page of pentacles could be some kind of offer also, too. But it's almost like maybe some of you guys, I feel like this person in the Four of Cups is still, like, thinking about their ex. It's almost like they're still thinking about their ex and then they don't even see the cup that's being handed to them. Let's see what else we get. What other messages do you have for Pisces in regards to love? Yeah, it's like a new... We have the Ace of Rods. So it's like someone, somebody wants to come in and offer you a new beginning, but someone's still needing to release their ex. It's like, this could be a fire sign too, or a younger earth sign. But it's like someone doesn't even see the new beginning that is being handed to them or that's being offered to them. Second card keep flying. What the message is here for Pisces? So we have the six of rods. Some of you guys could definitely be done with a fire sign. It's like whatever this new beginning is with the ace of rods, or whatever this news is that comes in, it's almost like maybe someone is rejecting it. Um, because they're still holding on to their ex. It's like someone's still sad over their ex. This four of cups right here. Like this person looks sad. So, um, with the six of rocks, it's like, I mean, if you do take this, um, you accept this news or this, um, new beginning, I feel like this is like some sort of news. It's like someone's going to help pull you out of that four of cups. Let's see what else we get. So we have the nine of swords. So it's like someone's scared of this new beginning. Um, could possibly with be with a fire sign, but it's like someone's like very scared. And I think that's why you guys had that. Um, it is safe for you to love um, romance angel cards because maybe someone is scared to um, possibly get back into a partnership with someone. But it's like someone wants you, or you want someone, Pisces. What are the messages in for Pisces? So look, the Knight of Pentacles came back up again. So this is definitely someone who's been like slowly approaching you. 
that's what I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles. Because they move slow, but it's like whatever he's bringing is solid. This is like a solid offer. He's dependable and also reliable um, too. Like you can depend on this person. So let's see what else we get. So we have the Knight of Cups. So most definitely, this is like some sort of proposal or a romantic gesture also too. And this could also be the person that's approaching you. They could, like, this could be someone that you're close to. This could definitely be like someone's friend. Um, It's almost like they've seen what you went through with your ex. So that they could be possibly scared to approach you. Because with this Knight of Cups, it's like he um, lacks confidence. But this is like some sort of romantic proposal or um, gesture with this Knight of Cups. So we have the Two of Swords. So I feel like this is you, Pisces, with this Two of Swords. It's almost like somebody's in this space of... Okay, you remember when we had the... Um, the It Is Safe For You To Love Romance Angel card with the Two of Wands. So we had this card right here. So it says, It Is Safe For You To Love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. With the two of wands. And then it was like the five of rods. Which is like conflict. So. I feel like somebody's kind of like in this space. Where you may have um, broken up with your ex. But there's someone else that's interested in you. And it's almost like someone can't really choose. On whether or not they want to. Um, start over. Have a new beginning. With a new person. Or almost like just still be in a space of just still thinking about their ex being like introverted also too and you know up all night with anxiety so there's like a decision that someone needs to make or they're just like avoiding making this decision also too and this could also be just not a cups it's like maybe you don't see this person coming in also too So let's see what else we get. What's this page of pentacles? This is really interesting. Because I'm a Pisces moon. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. What's the page of pentacles? Ooh. So we have the eight of cups. So this could be someone's ex that's coming back um, to... This could be someone's ex that um that walked away. Or it's like maybe someone's walking away from an offer. Or this could be someone coming back for an apology also too. That um that you walked away from. What's the Queen of Rods? It could be a fire sign. What's the Queen of Rods? So we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this Knight of Swords is rushing in. It's almost like they maybe they... So this could definitely be an apology. This Knight of Swords is rushing into this Queen of Rods. Or this could be the Queen of Rods is rushing in. I don't know. Um, but there, there's some sort of communication also too. Coming in with this Knight of Swords. What's the Four of Cups? What's the Four of Cups for Pisces? So we have the Star card. Some of you guys could be done with the Aquarius. But it's almost like someone's in this space of... what This Four of Cups in this deck looks... This person looks sad to me. But it's almost like maybe someone's in this space of like kind of... Um, it's like they're sad and maybe they have withdrawn. But they're also like hoping and wishing... For maybe their ex to come back. 
and this could also be the rose could be reversed also too so this could be the other person's energy but it's like maybe someone's hoping and wishing or it's like while someone's like hoping and wishing in a state of being like withdrawn and also introverted too it's like they get their wish but it's like they're not even looking up at the cup because they're still sad So it's like this person could be your wish or what you what you want like what you want because we did have the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck um, earlier. It's like someone's getting their wish, but they they're not looking up at the cup. What's this Ace of Rods for Pisces? So yeah, we have the five of rods again. This came out with the romance angel cards. We have the five of rods. Someone's conflicted about this new beginning. There's conflict here. What's the six of rods? So we have the six of cups with the six of wands. So with this, this could be definitely someone from your past. Someone that you guys were dealing with. It's like they want to come in. This is like, with the Six of Wands, this could be like some sort of love news that comes in. Um, it's like someone coming in to bring uh, some sort of love news also to. What's the Nine of Swords? Clarify the Nine of Swords. So the Ten of Cups came out. With the nine of swords so this could definitely be someone that you guys this could also be about a family member since it's like very general but um it's like maybe someone's scared to um it's almost like someone's scared to have a ten of cups like a um it's like somebody wants that but then the other person doesn't with this ten of cups and the nine of swords This could also be someone that wants to come back. Um, somebody wants to apologize and like heal a situation also too. So I do feel like some of you guys may have taken a break from your ex. And it's almost like maybe a new person has came in. But it's almost like maybe your ex comes back out of nowhere. <laughs> with this knight, knight of swords. They come back from out of nowhere wanting to heal a situation. But it's almost like maybe some of you guys may not even um, accept this person back also too. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. So we have the four of pentacles. So with this. The knight of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like this knight of pentacles is the new person. And I feel like this person is more stable. Cause it's like someone's ex maybe maybe have um walked out. But with this Knight of Pentacles, it seems like this person is more stable. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone new. It's like someone wants to build something new with you. And we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys could be dealing with the um, Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. 
it could definitely be a Taurus. But what this, um, and this is like, the King of Pentacles is like husband material. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. This could definitely be something like a, um, a marriage proposal also too, with this Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. But it's like someone can't decide or make a decision. What's the um, Two of Swords? Yeah, so we have the Page of Cups. So this is like some sort of like surprise message, a, um, like a love message with this Page of Cups. It's almost like when this, <laughs> when you receive this um, message or whatever this news is with the Page of Cups, it's like surprising. And it's almost like it had you as, as this Two of Swords. Like you can't even decide on what it is, it, on what it is that you want. So this could definitely be someone's ex coming back. Someone's ex walked away. They want to come back. They want to come rushing in to, um, to come back to heal a situation with the star card. And it's almost like they want to come back and um, renew a situation. They want to have their ten of cups, their ten of pentacles with you. This person coming back could be financially stable also too so I'm gonna pull up two angel answer cards for you guys but it's like when this person comes back whoever this is this could definitely be someone's ex or this could be someone new or this could be a family member I don't know but it's like they're coming back wanting um, marriage so this could be, someone could be like proposing with a ring and all that um, right here. What messages do you have for Pisces? Regarding this spread. So we have no need to worry. So like I said, um... It's like someone's scared to have, it's almost like someone's scared of marriage also too. So this could be you Pisces or a person that you guys are dealing with, but it says no need to worry. Someone's scared of marriage. What other messages do you have for Pisces in regards to love? It's like someone's scared of marriage, but it's almost like that's what they want too. What messages do you have for Pisces regarding this love spread? So we have helpful people. So this could be someone's family members. I feel like this is like family. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles and the um, Ten of Cups. So someone's family could be um, helping them out in this situation. I'm going to pull one more card. So we have let go. So I feel like this is, um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have take action. I feel like someone's worried about, I feel like someone got proposed to and they're really worried about maybe being married and also just like starting a family also too. It's like someone's scared. So I feel like they're just saying to let go of this worry let go of the worrying so some of you guys may have family members that's like kind of trying to talk you um trying to like calm you down also too with this worrying because someone's like really worried about a situation i feel like it's involving like marriage but this could definitely be about a family situation like someone's um relatives also too so yeah, that is all the messages that I have. Hopefully these messages resonate with someone. Feel free to leave a comment below. And also thumbs up the video if you like the reading. And subscribe. And also once you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you won't miss any readings.